and uh, the foul has been called on Irvine, I think it is. No, I think uh, Duffelmeyer's got the foul, so that's that's going to be a, a shooting situation. Very interesting call. Down, and both teams make a substitution, and we might just have a look at that dunk again by Emery Atkinson when he gets clear space. He just gets airborne. You can see Michael Johnson looking for the shot, realising at the last minute he hasn't got it, throws a bad pass, and Emery Atkinson, no one near him, just takes him, uh, takes his time, and up he goes. Five twelvers. We have a look at it once more. Here's the bad pass from Michael Johnson to no one. Atkinson did this last year against the Falcons here. He's already done it twice tonight. Gets airborne, throws it down solidly, and with 5.22 left on the clock in the... Bullock slows things down. Gives it to the point guard, Peter Harvey. He looks for, for uh, Lazard. Goes to uh, Michael Johnson inside. Thomas, three on two now. Kennedy, Spieth and Thomas. Can he make amends the big fella? Does so, and that's a good two Charlie points to the Cannons. 95-93. Charlie Thomas, the high scorer in the game, 28 points. I think that scores 95-92. That's the uh, score on the scoreboard at this stage. Johnson now with a shot. Michael Johnson! Yes, he Double had... teamed and everything and squeezes the shot away for two. Plenty of defence there, but uh, put the two up. Uh, Phil Smythe wants to get into the scoring action. Where's the rebounders? Duffelmeyer. Smythe again to Duffelmeyer. Three-point attempt from Tad Duffelmeyer. He can't make it. It's over the back and the Falcons come up in possession, leading by five points. Harvey wants to run it quickly, but uh, now for the uh, Newcastle Falcons, Peter Hill. Harvey just cutting around the baseline. Michael Johnson... Looking inside for Bullock yes. once again. Tries to get around. Thomas oh. falls away. Another foul to the Cannons. And Bullock will shoot from there. Peter Hill inside yep. of James Bullock. Can he get around Thomas? Batted away by Jamie Kennedy to Peter Hill at the top of the key. Now to Harvey. Now to Peter Hill. Hill, what can he do with it? To Harvey. Harvey with a shot from a long way out. And makes the basket the young star. Well, oh, the Falcons out by four. 120 left in the match. Kennedy and Spice now. Remembering that the Falcons haven't got any fouls this quarter. Canberra in the bonus situation. Spice, what can he do? Double. Parries it around to Charlie Thomas, to Emery Atkinson, putting the pressure on the big fellas. One minute left in the ball game. The Falcons by four. Thomas now gets around Bullock. Lazard with a big tip away. Oh. And he gets the foul. And it's no. called goaltending. And Goal Canberra Cannons get the two. Yes, Atkinson uh, picks up the two for goaltending. Falcons in possession now. Two-point ball game, 108-106. Less than a minute to go, 53 seconds. Peter Hill. This is the basket they need. They've got to move the ball around, look for the good shot. Nearly turns it over there, nearly loses it. Tipped away by Jamie Kennedy. They'll get the ball from the side, the Falcons. Falcons. And that's a chance to chew up extra time. They need to create a lead now, make a good passing lane. To Michael Johnson, out to James Bullock. Peter Harvey. The crowd's going bananas here at the stadium. Michael Johnson trying to be double teamed there. Lazard loses the ball. Spike picks it up. A real chance here for the Cannons now. 30 seconds left. Thomas in the paint. Gets the two points. And it's all tied up at 108 108. But the Falcons will have the last crack of the dice here. 23 seconds. And I'm out time by out Ken Cole. Cole. 20 seconds. That was a good effort by Lazard to try and get that ball. He'll foul out. He's, he's had a great match, 24 points and 21, 26, 21 rebounds on my last count. So 15 seconds left on the clock now, 118, 117 to the Canberra Cannons and the Cannons really now have the chance to shut the game down. Well they have uh, no better player than Phil Smythe to uh, get the ball to and uh, just count the clock down, only 15 seconds, so there's no, there'll be no other shot uh, in this game unless Newcastle can get a steal. You need to uh, stand in Phil Smythe's hip pocket to uh, stop him getting this ball. There's plenty of defence on them. Here he is to Jamie Kennedy. They run it out well. Peter Harvey now, and the foul on Peter Harvey. Yes, uh, Ken Cole was prepared to accept that uh, there might be some fouls because they're only on the three, three team fouls now, so it'll be side ball. Andy Campbell on his feet. Smythe. 11 seconds. Back to oh. Kenny. Intercepted by James Bullock. Can he go all the way? James Bullock. Oh! oh. Sticks it away. Four seconds. The count. clock is still counting. The clock is still counting. That's the ball game. And the Falcons have come up with a sensational victory.
referee. Oh, what a steal, James Bullock. Right in the dying seconds of the game. They've stolen the ball. Bullock has run the length of the court, basically, and jammed it away for a fabulous victory. The Falcons by a point, 119-118. Master, and I but after last week's performance, it's good to play well as a team. Mike played well, Greg played well, and I feel great. Yes, uh, looking from the outside, uh, the offense was a lot better tonight, uh, and uh, the, the uh, young guards were getting the ball inside to you. Yeah, well, it took me a while to get settled. I mean, when I came in here, I hadn't played for about three months, and finally I got into the offense and got into the flow and learned Ken's system. So I think I feel a little comfortable right now. I should be able to do all right. Yes, uh, Greg Lazard was uh, picking up your shots and uh, had a nice game as well. Yeah, it's, good. it's about time. I mean, last week he didn't play well. I didn't play well. And as a team, like I said, we didn't play well at all. And Greg did well. I mean, he got in there on the boards and uh, I think he had about 25 rebounds. You can't beat that. Your uh, intercept uh, against Phil Smythe. Uh, Smythe, I suppose, is one of the best players in Australia. And uh, you picked the ball off him. How did that come about? Well, it surprised me that he threw it. I couldn't believe he threw it. I mean, when I was here last time, when I played for Melbourne, he beat me every time. He'd come out with a three-pointer and the game was over or something like that, so it's good to get one from him. That's right. Uh, Canberra, uh, I thought, uh, controlled the tempo later in the game, and uh, but you were able to turn it around. Well, we hung in there. That's the key to winning. If you can hang in there two, three points uh, up or down, you got a chance to win the game, and that's what happened. At the end of the game, we had a chance to win it, and we did. Okay, James, best of luck, and I uh, hope you have many more of those uh, final shots. Thank you. Thank you very much. So a great game of basketball tonight at the Newcastle Sports Entertainment Centre was played in great spirit between the players, the coaches, and I thought the referees had a pretty good game tonight. Don't forget Michael Johnson will be on Sports Centre Sunday tomorrow morning. We'll relive that magic moment when James Bullock slammed away that winning dunk to beat the Canberra Cannons. On behalf of NBN, I'm Mike Rabit bidding you good evening. <laughs>